Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farm and Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today we continue with our mod showcases of the mods entered in the 2015 Farming Simulator Mod Contest. Today it's a map we'll be reviewing, a Willow Tree Farm, submitted by Dusty Dave, a small fictional Cornish farm. So, let's get started. Uh, there are many fields on this map, ranging in size from small to big. There's forestry in a corner of the map, and a lumberyard to sell your wood and wood chips. There's no place to store wood chips on this map. The old mill is where you'll be selling your grains and root crops. Uh, you own all the fields from the beginning, and start with a good range of equipment. Hope you enjoy this map. There's lots to do. Mods included are water, milk, chopped straw, manual gates. Thank you, Dusty Dave. Alrighty, let's jump on in here. No, I don't think I want a guided tour. Alright, and I think I want to get rid of that, and I think I want to get rid of that. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do, as always, is open up our little handy-dandy inventory, or PDA, and come here and look at storage and prices. Um, so, y'all know I always like to find maps that have lots of options for you to sell at, because that gives you competitive pricing on everything that you do. Well, you got two sell points on this map, freight yard and shipping office. Um, that's it. You got the lumber yard for lumber, and then you've got your wood chips, and that's it. So... That's all you're doing today. So that's pretty much it for you. Um, next thing I'm going to show you guys is the equipment that you start with. We're going to go to all types of equipment and just kind of scroll through everything. Uh, you've got your cedar here, uh, which is the small 3 meter cedar. You've got your potato cedar, uh, the GL420. I believe that's the large. No, that's not the larger one. That's the smaller one. Uh, then you get your dry fertilizer sprayer, uh, the Terra disc, which is the size up, I think that's six meters, uh, the telehandler, universal bucket for it, silage cutter, the axial flows 7130, that's your small uh, case uh, harvester, a weight, you got a dutes far for that weight, you've got a trailer for your header. You got a 35 foot header to begin with. Isn't that a little big for that combine? Hmm. Doesn't that combine have a small pipe? 35 seems large for that. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, all right. Then you got the new hauling loader head, which means we have a new hauling tractor somewhere. Uh, Euroboss forge wagon. There's your new hauling T6. Um, then you've got your manure spreader, slurry sprayer. You got the Flegel Bull Trailer. Uh, then we got a Bell Spike, Bell Wrap Handler. You've got your, um, uh, from your feeding technologies, you got your straw sprayer. Um, you've got a silage wrapper. You've got yourself a windrow, a mower, a baler, a tether. Hmm. Okay. So we've got all that equipment, and we've got a a thing to blow si straw in, but we don't have a way to make TMR. Just saying. Um, I guess you're feeding your animals just grass the whole time. TMR, you can buy that later on down the road. All right, let's look at this real quick before I go to the next page. I want to point something out to you. There are one, two, three, four, five, six seven fields plus grass fields here, 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 here. But there are seven distinct fields right here. Now, when we go to the next page, I've got one, two, three, four, five marked fields. That's it. I'm pretty sure I count seven. The other problem, y'all notice this right here? the green blob right here on the map. That's supposed to be our growth ring. This is supposed to be where I see what stage my fields are in. 
I can't tell anything from this. It's not even the same size as the map. I just took me a while to figure it out, but yeah, this is this is this, but really small. And so this is this field, which isn't ready, um, but it doesn't have a field number, but the green field has a field number on it. So there's a little problem there. You don't have all your fields numbered. Um, and your field is not the same size. Um, so anyways, now we can actually see the field outlines when we go to field, fruit types. And I can see that I've got soybean planted. Is that soybean? Or is that potato? It looks like soybean. Uh, maybe it's... That looks like soybean color in that field, doesn't it? But I didn't see soybean listed. And... It doesn't have a black circle around it, so it shouldn't be planted. So I'm guessing that's potato then. My eyes must be bad. Um, sugar beet, no, that's barley. And that's wheat, and that's corn. And I'm guessing that's potato. Okay. But anyways, this does not match this. Get the point? All right. So, with that said... Um, I don't know why they didn't, I don't know why giants, when they went through these maps and looked at them for errors and things of such, why they didn't pick up on that and why they didn't say anything, which makes me wonder, want to check and make sure there's no errors on this map. Um, all right, so let's get into a piece of equipment. Here's the Dutes Far. And guys, I don't mean to be highly critical of this map, and some of you guys will always jump on me and say, you're being too negative or you're being too sarcastic. Uh, well, you know, okay, whatever. But I find things like that in this contest, and it just drives me nuts. All right, so we got our dudes far. Well, let's get going. Um, one thing I didn't like about this, wanted to preview of this map, I didn't like the fact that the farmyard feels like a labyrinth. There's one way into it. There's one way out. Uh, all right, so there's your straw sell point for you to sell your straw. Uh, there's your case right there and I gotta look at this real quick harvesters K71 I don't know how long that arm is but yeah suitable for 35 foot okay uh, maybe I do have a 35 footer on one alright so let's head around here this little path here takes you to our little wheat field that's out the back gate oh Oh, I just drove through the gate. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, yeah, these are manual gates, so I can go over to it, and I can use my animated map triggers to open the gate. Okay, first little, next little problem I have with giants. This map didn't list any mods required to run this map. If it's got an animated map trigger for a gate... It should have listed it as a mod, and it wasn't listed on their site as a mod needed for download. So, somebody dropped the ball there, too. Or they were just driving through the gates. But once you open the gate, you can't drive through it again. I will note that to you. Because I'm pretty sure when I downloaded this, one of the things I pointed out was, Oh, this map will be fairly simple to review there won't be any mods needed at all to download for it that ain't right all right uh here's your little uh straw tosser thing milk pickup so you can get your milk um so here's another thing if this is a milk pickup and it's marked as a milk pickup. Do I have to haul my milk to the uh, to the place? And if so, what am I using to haul my milk with? Because I'm pretty sure there's not a stock trailer to haul milk in the game. Uh, if I go to miscellaneous, nope, that's not going to hold milk. Nope, that doesn't hold milk. Um ball dropped again there should be listed in the mods the fact that I have to have a trailer to haul milk if since he does list that milk is in the included in the game I should have to have a milk trailer in order to haul the milk to a sell point 
right? Am I wrong about that? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Um, implements, trailer, slurry sprayer, all that good stuff, manure spreader for the field. Let's go on up here. And like I said, I felt a little bit like a uh, I felt a little bit like a, a rat trapped in a maze when I first got in here. Now this is let's go back here where we picked up the dudes far because we need to go back over here so I can show you something. Uh, if we come back over here and we go over the little grate here, uh, right here we got some stuff underneath the shed, and that would be straw it looks like. And we got some stuff underneath. Well, we got an empty place here for storage, I guess. And we got something here that is straw as well. And then over here, well, we got straw again on the ground. So I guess all this is storage for where you can store straw or something. I don't know if that's bulk storage or if that's just a place to put bales. Um, but yeah, that's there for you. Another gate that gets you into this really small cornfield right here. Oh, by the way, you've got pre-planted cornfields. No corn header. So you're going to have to buy that right off the bat. That's not a complaint. That's just an observation. Because I know a lot of y'all think oh, Moose is just complaining. Uh, let's see. Wait there. Silage cutter there. There's your New Holland. There's your Ford's wagon. Here's your chickens. Looks like a little gas thing here. Gas thingamajigger. Yep, gas. All right. Then you got another equipment storage. And this looks like equipment storage, but this is actually where you store your grains. And you have to decrypt the little images on the sides of them to figure out what to store there. Now, I'm guessing this is canola um, from the little icon there. But if you look at, you know, like if I go into my inventory you know, or into PDA, the image here for canola doesn't match the image that's on that wall. But I, because I've driven around this field and I've figured it all out, I know where the wheat and barley and corn are. So, you know. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. By elimination, I know that's canola. The word canola or rape might have been good on there, better than image. Uh, because this image, while it doesn't bend and look like the image in the game, that's your wheat storage right there. You got some more equipment storage here. You got some silos that I'm not really sure what they're for. Like, I don't know what the Yara thing is, and even if these are useful. Um, but then right over here is where you have your... Um, that's your barley, and there's your corn. Uh, the one thing I don't see is where do I store my root crops. Um, I've got four big old huge honking places there to... Uh, store my grains but I don't see anywhere to store root crops so not sure some cows here not really sure what this is all about seeing as the dairy cattle are way back in the back um, do you have to come here and buy your cattle and get them here is that what this is all about there's no signage on this to let me know so it's just is it arbitrarily just placed here to fill up the area or is there some function to that so I don't know um, and again, I don't know what any of these are either. I, maybe if I turn on my help menu, there's something that lists what they are. You know, I drive around so much with my help menu, I never turn it on, but yeah, there's nothing telling me anything. Come out here in the back, and we got some fields, and you got a little green field here, which is, this is where the field four is listed. Uh, this is our canola field here that's listed on there that is not grown up. Now, I'm going to pull in here and I'm going to try something that I've loaded this map in three times and once it's worked. So, uh, we're going to go in here 
calculate current field path and it didn't actually calculate it this time uh, like I said I've loaded this game several times and several times it would not load the field path um, and talking to another youtuber had been through here and done it he pointed out that he tried to use an implement with course play or he tried to use a uh, combine with course play and it freaked out and went all over the place which was the reason why I tried in the first place to turn on course play and it wouldn't let me um, do anything but here's the thing I got no idea what fields these are so I'm gonna have to go in here and record all my fields because if I don't if I just go into uh, course play and I set up for um, if I get rid of the field corners and I come down here go to work mode and I go to calculate field path I don't know what field I'm in I gotta go is it field one nope it's not five five is over there it's not two it's not one. Oh, and by the way I've only got course play only recognizes three fields to begin with uh, when it did its initial scan of the game so it only recognized three fields it didn't recognize this as a field so you might have some issues if it doesn't recognize the field is the hired help gonna recognize the field that's my next question am I gonna spend the time to pull out a combine and run through the field nope um, that's not my I'm just gonna run through here and give you a tour of it and let you see it and let you figure the rest of it out for yourself all right so we're gonna run down the road here and we're just gonna start all the way at the end of this road so you can go from there now if we come all the way back here we'll notice that there is a road closed sign this is the end of our map we cannot go any further we'll spin around and we'll start our approach this is your forestry area here that he has put in the map for you uh, with a nice little road going back in here not a whole lot of forestry on this uh, just a little bit so you come back in here cut yourself some trees down have yourself a good time but you're not cutting a lot of trees down so uh, I do it manually because a Ponzi is going to be a waste of money. Some of them bent trees. Alright, your wheat field here has a gate where you can get into it right here. And again, you have to have animated map triggers or you just... Well, you have to have animated map triggers because you can't drive through this one. So unless you have animated map triggers, you can't get into that field. Hence the reason it should have been listed as a download um, on Giant's website. Moving along, we're heading on up. Uh, to get into this wheat field, you got to go into the next wheat field. And to get into the next wheat field, you have to go all the way down here to the potato field. So this potato field here is where you go in to get to the wheat field over there which has a gate to get into the other wheat field down here we come along this little road here there's your uh, dairy farm that we were on just a little while ago and we come down here and this is where all our grass implements are for mowing as well as we find our sheep pavilion um, the only reason I know that's a sheep is because well there's a watering area and a feeding trough so there's got to be something that goes in there um, and if I would just look at this way, I would think, well, maybe that's just for the dairy. But I see this concrete pad over here on the edge, which makes me believe that is where the wool pallet goes uh, when you do your sheep. So, you can drive through that gate right now. And you got a big green field here that you can go through and cut for grass uh, to make your hay and to feed your sheep. But again, here's my deal. The, and y'all, again, am I being critical or am I just being what? You start the game with a wrapper so you can make silage. And you start the game with the blower so you can throw hay into your livestock. Well, if I've got 
if I've got that piece of equipment and I've got that piece of equipment, why don't I have a way to make... Why don't you start me off with a piece of equipment for TMR? I'm just saying. But, it, you know, he didn't have to give you a silage wrapper to begin with, so... And your animals will eat off of the silage, so... Maybe I'm just being highly critical on that point. Uh, let's go in here. Egg cell point, and, um... I see something here that I haven't seen before. Uh, your wool cell point is in the shop. Okay. Uh, and there's your shop. And then you have... Alright, so cell point, ATM, there's your shop purchase. And, oh, looky over here. There's your milk cell point. So, bingo. You do need a way to haul milk in this one. Should have been on the uh, listed mods, don't you think? All right. Keep moving. Here is the uh, quality timber. And this is where you'll sell off all your timber. Um, there's your wooden till. Does that say wool? Or wood? Wooden timber. All right. Wooden timber sell point. And there's your wood chips for what would be considered your biogas facility. And then right over here, since there is no garden center in this, I assume this is where you purchase your saplings. Yep, so that's what that is. Alrighty. Heading on. We're going to move down here. And again, there's our potato field over there. And there's a bus stop or something. Uh, a little road right here. This wraps around and heads over here to the mill so that you can pull in and you can dump your grain here to sell it off. Now, that's the map. Did anybody see a freight yard to sell grain at? I didn't. It's listed as a place to sell, but I ain't seen a freight yard anywhere unless you call this a freight yard. I thought this was a lumber mill. If this is the lumber mill, where's the freight yard at? I didn't see anywhere on the map. Now, I didn't go all the way down here. So we'll just go all the way to the end of this road, but I, I've already been down it. I'm going to tell you there's no freight yard on this map. But once again, it's listed. Freight Yard. Cell Point. There is no Freight Yard. You see a Freight Yard? Alright, before I do anything else, I'm going to point out something else to you. You notice right now I'm driving next to field number 2 on this map. So in theory, that's field number two. If I drive through this gate and drive into it, I'm in a green field, and that ain't field number two. There's no L shape to this field at all now, is there? This is a square field, and it's just grass. There's nothing tan growing in this field. Come back out here to the road, and we drive up here. There's our cell point off to the left. So our icons are right, and as I come up here, there's a telephone booth to my right and a cell point to my left. But now, and I bring up this so I can do this, if we get our cursor out, I'm right here. Cell point, telephone booth, icons, gas pump. The road's way up here, so the mini-map in this is completely useless as well. It don't work either. I'm sorry, but Giants, when they accepted this mod and tested them, because that's the thing, they got all the mods and had to test them before they put them out into the contest. This should have been corrected or this map shouldn't have been in the contest. 
because part of the contest is to deliver product, in my personal opinion, is deliver product that people can use and play the game the way that it should be. Not to put something that isn't right. And, and this is nothing against Dusty Dave, but Giants shouldn't have put this into the contest if it was like this. It shouldn't have been in there. That's my, my opinion, and I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to show you one now other thing that the tester should have picked up on. Now this is the this is the map. Map's done. We've covered everything on the map. And I will say this, barring the issues with the map, the fields not being ma marked, the mini map being wrong, the fact that when I come in here there's a freight yard listed as a sell point, but yet there's no freight yard on the map. Um, this shouldn't have been in here, and this should have been, or this, no, next page, this should have been fixed as well. This should be fixed. Now, barring this, the cell points not being right, the fields not being labeled properly, the mini map doesn't work. Barring that, for a small map, it's a nice little map. It really is. He's done a nice job and a nice little map. But... In my, in my personal opinion, it's not playable because of those things. Sure, I could, I could play through all that, but those are resources that you use on a daily basis when you play this game. You use your mini-map. You use your big map. My big map's not correct. It doesn't show me where I'm going. And I don't have a freight yard that I can sell things, which means I have one place and I have no competitive pricing at all in this game all right so other than that it's a good looking little map he's done a really good job as far as laying the map out and putting things in it and and again i applaud him on his layout of the map and i think he did a good job with that the design the the little walls and everything else like that the farmyard feels a little bit too like too much uh like a maze uh it would have been nice to have a couple of different ways to get in and out of the farmyard other than uh, out the main entrance but that's about it now here we go again and by the way if you don't like me being critical of my, you might want to stop the video now all right here we go through the wall we go and yeah this is the enormous amount of wasted space that is in this map as you can see well, there's a lot of wasted space on this map. I'm sure we're just going to take a little drive here. And you're probably thinking, Moose, how in the world did you figure some of the... Why are you going out here? What are you doing? Oh, what is this? What is that? Something floating in air? There's something in the air floating. What is floating in the air above me? Oh, this is something new. I didn't even know this existed. Whatever it is, is up above me. Is there a train up there or what? There's a shadow on the ground of something floating in the air. Oh, now i got to move back and figure out what this is. Y'all got to pardon me on this one. This is baffles me. And things that baffle me get my attention. I'm a little bit OCD in that. But, anyways. Oh, there it is. There's a log or a wool. There's something floating in the air up there. Oh, I gotta find out what this is now. So, okay, this is where this video goes downhill from here. Because y'all know I'm investigating this. So, um, yep, here we go. I am going to probably shouldn't do this on video, but anyways, all right. So J and Q, and where'd it go? Oh, there it is. All right, let's see if we can get up here to this. I got to figure out what this is. I just cannot let it set. There's another little thing floating out there in the middle of the air. What is this? Hmm. This is not why I headed out here, by the way. Um, but it caught my attention, and now i got to find out what it is. 
I missed this the first time through. I knew about the little thing that's floating over the town over there, which I'm still not sh really sure what it is. Um, but this piece here looks to be a log. It is! It's a log just floating in the middle of the air. How do I find this stuff and Giants doesn't? Do they not look at things like this? This should have been taken out before the contest started. And then there's that one over there, but I don't go to that one yet because there are other things that we have to get to. Alright, so... Am I going to the right place? Yeah, anyways. Alright, so there's our little tractor down there, and there's the log that is floating in the middle of the air, casting a shadow down on the ground by my tractor that we are going to head back down to right now. So, yep, yeah, oh, I'm not going to be able to land on it. Oh well. So we'll run back over here, and we'll head to our tractor. I think I'm headed to the wrong corner, so... Alright, well, let's do this. Yeah, see that yellow thing fly, floating up above the town? I'm not quite sure what that one is either. I tried to find it when I turned on the uh, developer mode. And it only appears when I go into the lighting mode. And so I can't figure out exactly what it is. I go up there and look at it and it disappears from me. So it could be the sun, maybe. I'm not sure. I've never seen it before on any other map. Y'all are like, why is he driving around the backside of the film? I'll show you why in just a second. It's going to take us a couple of minutes to get there. But, you know, I believe in actually looking through these things and figuring out what's up with them um, before I actually do a review on them. So I drive through the wall to see what's behind the wall, to see if there's anything that could cause errors and cause problems in the game. And, oh, look at there! There's a equipment shed. No, well, that's not really an equipment shed. That's, um... Remember I told you there's nowhere to store our earth grains, uh, our earth roots, uh, our potatoes and sugar beets? Well, there he is. There's a place to store them on this map. They're way out here. Way out here is where you would have what would be your storage facility for sugar beets and potatoes. They were just never put on the farm. The other thing, why that's not picked up on by Giants, why is all this stuff sitting over here? Why is Giants not make him go and take all this stuff out so it doesn't cause any problems in the game? Why is there a waterfall hanging out in the middle of nowhere over here? Why is all of this stuff underneath the map? Clothes and tomato plants and mushrooms and I mean basically this was his when he was designing this map this is where he had all of his stuff and this is where it's at and it's all underneath the map here all this stuff should have been eliminated the trains are over here is this where the freight yard is oh there's a cell point that could have been the freight yard cell point there it's like he intended to put a freight yard in but never did and here's what I really love the most about this there's a moose. There is a moose. Uh, I gotta screenshot this. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I have to take a moment to screenshot the moose with my tractor hovering over it and a train track in the background. There we go. All right. So, anyways, all this stuff is um, just mysteriously sitting over here for no reason. Yep. And you'll be happy to know that at least it is collidable. Donk. Mm. So anyways. Yeah. I thought I'd take y'all out here and let you see this. This stuff should have been cleared up. Giant should have made him get rid of all this stuff. To me, this is just... It shows the lack of attention to, to doing a map. So... Anyways. And again, that's the reason like the mini-map is messed up. And... The inside map is lack of lack of attention. And so, theoretically, you could come back here and plow this area and plant it, even though it's not part of the map, I think. 
That would be interesting. I need to do that. I need to come back here and see if I can just plant one big giant field back here and see if I can actually harvest it and everything and make the map fun. Um, anyways, all right, I'm done with this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Look, if you want to play this map just based on its merits as a little map and a few fields and you can deal with the issues that are in there with the mini map and the map uh, and the fact that there's only one cell point, then it might be something you want to download and take a look at. Um, not for me. And that's that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't like the fact that I was critical of the map, sorry about that. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's just my personal feelings on it. And it is what it is. Uh, another video tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.